Dan is one of the most innovative people I know. If he sets his mind to achieve a certain goal, he's going to achieve it. I always think of him as a nephew or a son. I hired him basically right after graduate school, and we've established a relationship that very often we don't even have to speak. When I think about Dan, three words come to my mind, an educator, leader, and communicator. Dan has that ability to keep people engaged by interjecting humor, by even putting people on the spot through his own humility, putting himself on the spot. So without a doubt, he's someone who can read the room and dominate the room. Everything is like jumping up and down. You, 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 you come here, you come here. The Baruch MFP program is Dan. Dan has got a Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant mentality around winning that translates into real empirical evidence. So whether it's the starting salaries, the placement rate, the rankings amongst quant programs, the trading competitions, you name the metric, and Dan is consistently gonna be at the top of any of those lists. Dan's responsible for headlines in the Wall Street Journal that say, sorry, Harvard and Yale, the trading loose kids are at Baruch. The dedication of his students are all a reflection of Dan's impact and how much Dan has done to help Baruch and to help his program. Dan is a life changer. Dan cares about your career more than your mother. I wanted to make a career move from credit to equity. So I went back to Dan and he made it happen for me. I cannot imagine a life path without Dan. He is like a trusted father figure to not just a couple of these students, but it feels like all of them, which is remarkable. Dan is the first person I go to when I'm looking to hire. Whether it's someone who is a new grad or someone who has experience, Dan will help. We have a joke that if we want to hire somebody, we don't have to convince them to come work for us. We have to convince Dan that we're the best fit for them. I learned that when you put your heart and your mind and you lead from the spine, you can build a strong community and make a lot happen. Dan's relationship with the students and our alums, it continues every day. He has a mailing list with thousands upon thousands of names. And he probably knows every single one of them, which is amazing. He knows everybody's class here. He remembers your kids' names or your wife's name. He has a newsletter that he sends out of not just professional updates, and also their personal updates, the weddings, the children that were born. So he takes a very personal approach. Dan took a chance with me, and that chance that he took changed the course of my life, and for that I'm forever grateful. Dan, this is a celebration of you. Congratulations. We are all so very proud of you. Dan, I congratulate you for what you've done, for what you're going to do, and I wish you the best. Dan, congratulations, best wishes, and keep up the good work. We are all celebrating with you and extremely grateful for all your hard work and commitment since you started the Baruch MFE program. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for all you have done for the Baruch MFE, for the students, and for me. Good evening. Uh, I guess my job, besides introducing Dan, is really ex to explain in a way how we got here. Um, the president, President Wu, uh, before indicated that our program is number one in the country. Um, we're, uh, I guess if I give you the names of some of the other programs, you can really appreciate what a tremendous uh, event that is. Schools like Princeton, Berkeley, Courant NYU, Columbia, MIT, Carnegie Mellon, some of the finest research universities in the country. And our program is number one. How did it happen? Well, the, the short answer is Dan, but there's a little bit more to it, and how did he do it? And in about two minutes, I'm going to explain all of that. It all started with an idea when Matthew Goldstein was a president of Baruch. He read this book about quants and financial mathematics, and he, he, he had this inspiration. He says, why can't we do this at Baruch? So he went to my dean, Lexa, Lexa Logue, who's also here this evening. Lexa, said, Lexa spoke to me, and we said, all right, let's do it. I need some lines, you know, <laughs> immediately uh, in order to do it. And I interviewed two people. Well, I interviewed a lot of people, but of the two who made the cut, one was Dan. 
Dan's major, uh, Dan's research was in numerical methods at NYU, but he sat in every one of their financial mathematics courses, so he knew the, he knew the area really, really well. So I, I thought I hired him. A minor difficulty occurred. He suddenly got a postdoc for some place called MIT. We didn't have deferred hiring at the time. We worked together with MIT. We were able to defer his postdoc. So while he was at MIT, we were starting together to work and develop the program. Programs usually take about two years at CUNY, you know, from start to, to uh, the board of, the board of, high board of education state to, uh, to certify it. And while he was at uh, MIT, of course, he, he was involved with the Sloan School of Business, and suddenly all their courses were in his head. And along the way, he, he, uh, he got us a, a new PhD from MIT to join our department. Um, and that was sort of the start. So by the time he got back, we were ready to start the program. I think that was around 20, 2002. And we admitted, a, uh, we admitted our first class, and it was, a, it was a very respectable program. Nothing exceptional, but it, was a, but it was good, and it got better and better and better. This was all Dan's, Dan's work. He developed an alumni group, but we had two problems. Problem number one is some of the best students were still, still wanting to go to a named school like Columbia or Princeton. How do we get them? And the second problem is, how do we get in the industry people to hire Baruch students? Then, if somebody would go to an interview, they would say, oh, you're from Baruch, huh? Now, they say, oh, you're from Baruch. I mean, there's, there's, there's a big difference. But how did this happen? Well, Dan realized that we need to do two things. We need to bring a couple of well-known professionals into, into the department. He recruited Jim Gatherall and Andrew Lesneski, both, both, both of whom had great experience uh, in the financial world and were looking to make a change and, and go to an academic environment. He brought in some of the top financial uh, people teach, working out there who understood what needed to be done. And in order to get the recognition, we, we started teams competing with uh, the Rothman competition, um, some other competitions, one at, MI, uh, one at MIT, and we started winning them all. And suddenly, we became very desirable. You saw um, in that l the little newspaper article um, that Baruch essentially, uh, I think it was the Times or the Wall Street Journal, actually the article was different when it first came out in the international edition. The article said, hey, watch out Harvard, Baruch's eating your lunch. It's incredible what he's done. And the, to top it off, we have one of the strongest alumni networks that I've ever seen. And it's through the alumni that our students really do well. They, they're, they're mentored by our alumni. They're offered internships and, and positions through our alumni. And this is all, all through Dan's work. He, he's an incredible person. He puts incredible energy into our program. And I'm very pleased to have him as, as a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce Dan Stefanica. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you very much for contributing to making this Bernard Baruch dinner a great success. Thank you. Thank you, Max. <laughs> so let us start by making it clear that this is not about me. It's about our Baruch MFE program and Baruch MFE community. And I will start by asking our 90 alumni in the room to please stand up and be acknowledged. <laughs> Every single one of you, please stand up. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, what makes our program really special and what's really special to me is our Baruch MFE alumni community. And, well, the fact that we have this many alumni here, the fact that 260, 259, 
contributed to the financial success of the gala tonight out of 445 alumni all time, like 20 years, 445, 259 contributed tonight. I mean, that's a quantitative way to see the strength of our community. But the fact that we had alumni who graduated in 2005 who came from Chicago, like one day only, take a day off from work, come here to celebrate with our community, it's really very special. And it's the bedrock of the strength of our program because these alumni are both ambassadors for us. They work for firms that just want to clone them to get more and more of them. But they also support our students at any time that is needed. And I can tell you an interesting story. I was at the Rodman Trading Competition, which we dominate, in 2014. And this, this is Saturday morning, the second day of the competition. <clears throat> One of our students is going to interview on Monday at a firm, let's call it JP Morgan Stanley, so you don't know which one it is. Um, and he needs help. I mean, I know the team. I would like to learn more about the team. I sent an email to one of our alumni, a young lady who works at JP Morgan in, in a team adjacent. And I ask for information. I say, we can actually, I mean, what can you tell me? And she says, let's get on the phone now. And I say, well, it's Saturday morning. I'm in Toronto. I, we can actually talk on Monday. The interview was not on Monday. It was a couple of days later. And she says, no, 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 no. I'm going on vacation on Monday. Let's talk now. So we talk now. Now, on Monday morning, another one of our alumni sends me an email telling me that that particular student got married over the weekend. So on her wedding day, on her wedding day, she got married on Saturday. She wanted to talk to me on Saturday morning because her honeymoon was starting on Monday, but she wanted to talk to me and tell me about the group and what our student would be best positioned to do. Now, to top it all off, she got married to another one of our alumni. I had no idea that, but. So this is, this is, this is Baruch MFE in one, uh, I mean, in, in one story. Now, I have a personal story as well. Warren inspired me. Um, I learned from an early age that doing math when you walk on the street is a recipe for damaging poles or hitting people. It's, it's really not good. So for a very early age, like middle school, I decided that I do math at my desk. When I walk on the street, I interact with people. It's different. <laughs> However, I found myself, it was my final year of PhD, I found myself reading Siam News while walking on the street, which again, I never before nor since did. And I almost, of course, as predicted, I almost hit a tree. As I was reading the announcement of the opening at Baru College in the mathematics department, for something that literally to me, my reaction was, oh, why did I advertise this? This is my role, this is my position. Why, why, why do we need? And then I almost hit, hit uh, the tree, but that, that's exactly how I came at Baruch. I read, Warren doesn't even remember posting that in Siam News. I read it in Siam News, which was completely out of character for me to read something on the street, and it was my position, and that was, just, I mean, and now, and now we are here. Um, I want to say something to my children. Now you know why I'm not around you as much as I should, and I hope you appreciate it. Although, again, that, that I'm working on actively. And I'm going to leave you with, so everything is about our Baruch MFE alumni community. However, there's something much larger at play over the past, five years, eight years, 10 years, I've heard from many people in industry that they are regarding Baruch College students, not just Baruch MFE students, but Baruch College students in general, as people who are successful in finance, in quantitative finance or finance in general. So there is this halo effect, which is possibly the most marvelous thing that has happened thanks to our Baruch MFE alumni community, that everyone at Baruch is regarded slightly higher or a lot higher in terms of the desirability for firms to hire. So once you make Baruch College a brand name in finance, which it is right now, then it's our great privilege as the Baruch MFE alumni community to contribute to make it greater and greater, making, the, making it the better and making it the best. Thank you.